how to resolve this thing improperly using the internal combustion chamber for petrol engines. So here is all about how to install the piston ring properly into the internal combustion chamber and steps you can follow to do it properly to meet the requirement. So I have with me the engine block. This is the first stroke engine block and it's a new lining. So we have a new ring here. This is the new rings. I have also with me here the connecting bearings. So in the first place, I'm going to install this connecting bearing, then the next step will follow. This is the old one, the old bearing is one, has worn out, so we need to change. This is the new bearing, so I carefully install it here. Then the connecting one two. So this is the old bearing. Then first step is I have my oil rings here. This is the oil rings. Here is the compressor rings, and then the second ring. This is the oil ring. This is the heart of the engine, the oil ring. So I'm going to install this oil ring, but there is a trick and secret about how to install it. This piston is number one that this ring will pass down here. Then it will fix the opposite side of the engine block is the oil ring but the oil ring itself because this is the front side you have to beat the front arrow so i carefully install it here and i'll show you the mark you can't just put it anywhere because of the oil consumption and the pressure you need to position it well so here yeah, you can see okay so when you position it this mark this joint is supposed to meet this side the reason because when you make, fix it here the pressure will make the oil rings to worn out quickly so you have to bring it here into the internal combustion chamber so that it will keep longer for the engine and then so this is it secondary is two the second one supposed to go top but you don't need to fix it like this always pass it down then let me install it carefully okay let me install it carefully it's very technical Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. I also position it here. They don't need to meet together. You have to beat them 45 degree to each gap. So this is the oil ring instrument. The down one is at this side. So another 45 degree is on the top of the second one. So when you install it like this, then there is no way oil can pass through. Let's go to the second compressor ring. Anytime you can see the T and then the T means top. So we have to install it, let the T face on top. So for this one, the first ring will face me. 
because this is the arrow so when you turn it like this supposed to face me direct then i install the second one the compressor is also the same procedure okay it's also pressing the other side of the piston and it's about to cramp it but don't forget to oil it because oil is more important for these rings if not you do a wrong job and the piston will start in for piston slab when you start the engine so i have to oil the whole piston and the rings and then oil the internal chamber to all which we normally call the lining we also do forget to oil the connecting bearing so carefully do it like this When I have my piston ring compressor, we are going to pump it. Okay. Right. This thing has turned small, so I have to position it well, okay? to be on the actual line I want now it's clear have to hurry up and sand this is how you need to clamp it Open it, hit the side for the rings to go somewhere in the roof. Otherwise, there could be a serious damage. Okay. So, in this case, I have to use a small metal to hit it to install it successfully. And that is it. It's done. Wow. Mm. And this is how we install piston ring properly for petrol engines. Please, if you, this is the first time you are watching this video, hit the subscribe button to get notified when we uploaded this whole tutorials for you. And also we we'll try to give you all the mechanical tips and tricks for you to know more about automobile thank you for watching subscribe and share see you next time bye bye